Good morning, everyone. It's Joe Gleason. It's Sunday, January 13th. Uh, I believe this is week 26 uh, that we just finished on the construction site at the new Bank of New Hampshire stage. And although I was here just a few weeks, a uh, few weeks, a few days ago uh, uh, for an earlier walkthrough, I'm going to uh, add this one as well just to keep on the normal timetable. And I will try to get them posted soon. So some new work that's been happening this week, uh, the steel uh, stud uh, partition wall uh, covering up the old brick wall, which is in pretty bad shape, but uh, it has been started in the lobby. You can see everything's been opened up. Uh, this section down here is the uh, ladies and men's room. Uh, we'll take a walk in there in just a moment. Um, this section here though that's open will remain actually fairly open. There's going to be a low counter with uh, three movable uh, kiosks that form the box office counter. Uh, there will be a door into this area as well, but this is the box office area. And the only way to get to this now is uh, from this view, uh, but looking through this uh, partition, uh, this is a separate area uh, for the Bank of New Hampshire's micro branch. Yes, they're going to have a micro branch uh, downtown in our building right in the front. Uh, so the way to get into that would be from our front doors, which will be right out there. And down in this front section will be the vestibule. Uh, this set of stairs will be gone and there will be a door that gets you into the uh, uh, Bank of New Hampshire micro branch. Okay. So looking down this way, uh, this is the main lobby, box office to my left as we walk by it. Ladies room first, it's pretty sizable. Uh, over here on this side is where the elevator and doors to the new exterior stairwell and elevator uh, uh, are located. So this is a side entrance if you came down the alleyway uh, of the building or you can come in uh, through the front and then this is the men's room nothing much to see here yet this section uh, this uh, green door we're going to be uh, keeping and I think we're going to keep it in place right where it is uh, this opening will be finished off and we'll have the uh, concession counter uh, ordering and pickup station uh, inside the space is uh, the new kitchen. So cooking equipment, freezers, refrigerators, ice machine, supplies, all of that sort of thing in this brand new uh, renovated space. Cool. All right. So what looks like a really big opening here is also going to be defined. Uh, entryways with a center uh, a partition wall uh, to get into the theater space and when you come in it's it's really hard to envision here because the balcony's not in place with the storage area uh, but you won't be able to just walk straight ahead because all the seating will be in place so when you walk in you'll be coming to the right or to the left through a set of doors and then down the side of the theater there will be a five foot wide aisle that gets you all the way down uh, to the front of the seating section, which I think I've described previously, uh, but for those that haven't watched previous videos and don't want to, <laughs> um, there are two seating sections down here that are retractable that store underneath the balcony. And let me see, I think the first row First row is about here and goes 11 rows up. Uh, there will be a center aisle which will take you straight up into the balcony and then straight up into that second floor space. Anyway, that's a lot of talking today. Sorry about that. Uh, for those of you that have been putting up with these, you can fast forward through. And uh, uh, just uh, it's really cool to see the space opened up. And uh, the floor, uh, although it's not concrete yet, uh, that will be poured uh, in the coming months uh, as we finish up 
Uh, what, what's next up in here, though, I believe is uh, the painting. So the ceiling work up there, all of that is staying exposed and will be painted black. There'll be some duct work and other equipment up there, and that will also be painted black. All right, let's uh, take a trip upstairs. Oh, well, we're upstairs uh, just outside the elevator stop and or the top of the stairwell, uh, which is outside of the current building, not built yet, but going to be done soon. Uh, this wall here uh, will be finished off. There will be just a double door in the center that gets you out to the balcony. And on either side of that double door will be a uh, observation uh, window. Fairly large size. This wall over here, uh, so consider this second floor gathering space, back end of the lounge, uh, hopefully some small furniture out here for sitting area, and uh, the history wall uh, with artifacts and whatnot will be over there. As you come down into the main second floor lounge space, where those tables are approximately is where the new bar will be. So you'll be able to order food and drinks from there. Of course, the kitchen is downstairs, so we have to work on getting food to the upstairs uh, in an efficient manner. But uh, that's the rough layout there. The, the bar is, I think, about that long, 16 feet, um, and it sticks out about that far too. So when we look down this way, this set of stairs that I just came up will be gone. So this is just a, a continuation of the open floor space. Uh, the windows uh, are here. Oh, let's take a look at this one. So they are Anderson windows. Uh, they look pretty much like the original windows, except they're modern construction, insulated glass. Uh, they'll be very functional and uh, won't let any of that drafty outside air in. But we'll have four windows along uh, the front facing Main Street, five windows along the south wall, and uh, two right next, uh, behind me on the north wall. Uh, and the reason, <clears throat> excuse me, there were some other windows back in here, uh, but the bar uh, requires us to uh, close those up, so uh, that, that took care of a couple of them. And one down here is being converted into an exit door, uh, emergency exit from the second floor. And there were one or two back here where the history wall is, <clears throat> but because of the balcony situation, we needed a, a second means of egress out of the balcony. Uh, so on the other side of this wall, in the balcony section over in that front corner, let me see if I can get around there. I'll hold the phone out there. There will be an exit door that takes you over, uh, and we're directly over the uh, uh, first floor kitchen. So it'll take you over the kitchen roof and down into the alley that takes you out to Main Street. Uh, so anyway, that's why some of the windows had to go away. Uh, there were also one or two down at this end, uh, but because of the new stairwell uh, and elevator, uh, some of those had to be closed off as well. We kept as many as we could. Uh, and I think we kept the most important ones. They're the ones that are most visible uh, from Main Street uh, and from the front of the building. Uh, the ones on the north wall, uh, the only thing you could see is Endicott furniture three feet across us on the alley. Uh, and the ones we sort of missed the most are the ones on the south wall. But if you're in the stairwell, uh, it'll, it's a glass stair tower, so you'll be able to, to see out from there. It'll be quite nice. Anyway, I've rambled on a, enough, I think, uh, and I'm just spinning myself around here so you can see the space. <clears throat> uh, construction's really moving along now. We are still slated for a June of 2019 opening. Uh, more to come on that. Our website, ccanh.com, will be updated uh, in the next month, uh, we're working with the, our web designer to revamp the website and be able to highlight uh, all of our Bank of New Hampshire stage 
shows, uh, which we are frantically, well, not frantically, but which we are booking uh, at the moment. And uh, that's a little hard to do when we don't have our final seating counts and general admission uh, standing room event uh, capacities. Uh, but we're, we're moving ahead as much as we can to get our programming in place so that we have a really uh, robust schedule planned uh, once we open. You'll want to come down here every night. All right. Thanks, everyone. Sorry for the tilty video and sorry for the scratchy voice overcoming a cold. And uh, see you next week.